Here's a table of standard enthalpies of formation. Let's look at a few of them. Now, the elements in their standard state have zero enthalpies of formation by definition. That is, we just set a zero arbitrarily at the elements in their standard states. Now, this is common for energy calculations. For instance, if you're doing a gravitational energy, potential energy calculation, you could set the zero in gravitational potential to the bottom of a hill. And the top of the hill would be measured relative to that. Now, this bottom of the hill is not really zero in gravitational potential. It has some distance from the center of the Earth. But we set it at zero just to make the calculation easy and to give ourselves a standard of comparison for the rest of the problem. That's what we do in chemistry when we set the zero in standard enthalpies of formation as the elements in their standard state. It gives us a standard of comparison for all the other compounds. Now, let's look at a few compounds and a few things formed from elements in their standard state. Here's hydrogen atoms in the gas phase. Now, hydrogen atoms in the gas phase is not the standard state of hydrogen. The standard state of hydrogen is how you would find hydrogen naturally at one atmosphere of pressure and 25 degrees C, and that's diatomic hydrogen gas. To make atoms out of diatomic hydrogen gas, you have to break hydrogen-hydrogen bonds. Breaking bonds always requires energy. So there's an increase in energy that's an endothermic reaction to go from the molecules to the atoms. So this atoms, one atmosphere of hydrogen atoms in their standard state is 218 kilojoules higher than a half a mole of hydrogen molecules. Now, oxygen the same, oxygen atoms would be formed from diatomic oxygen molecules. Here's carbon gas in its standard state. The standard state of carbon would be carbon graphite solid. So this would be atomizing solid graphite into graphite into carbon atoms in the gas phase. Of course, that requires energy to break all those intermolecular carbon bonds and atomize solid carbon. Carbon dioxide and these other compounds are lower in energy than the elements in their standard state. So when you form carbon dioxide from carbon solid in its standard state and oxygen gas in its standard state, you go down enthalpy hill. So these compounds are enthalpically more stable than the elements in their standard state. And for that reason, many of them are more common. Enthalpically more stable, lower on the energy scale, and they may be more common. Now, here's water gas and water liquid. Notice water gas has a lower enthalpy of formation than the water liquid. So there's 44 kilojoules per mole between water gas and water liquid. So what I have is water liquid down here at 28 minus 286, water gas 44 kilojoules per mole higher in energy than the water liquid. And we know that's because to go from water liquid to water gas, you have to add energy to overcome the potential energy of intermolecular bonds in liquid water. Aluminum oxide. 1,676 kilojoules are released when every mole of aluminum oxide solid is made from aluminum solid and oxygen gas in their standard states. So that's a very dramatic release in energy for one mole of a compound. So enthalpies of formation for elements and atomic compounds in their standard states and some atomization of elements from their standard states. These tables will help us measure uh, chemical reactions for reactions between compounds. So if I have a reaction that takes, say, ethanol and makes carbon dioxide in water, I can use the fact that the enthalpies of formation of the products minus the enthalpies of formation of the reactants gives me the enthalpy for that chemical reaction. And that's why we tabulate standard enthalpies of formation.